Hey, good morning, Mayfield. It is Thursday, February 13th, and this is our weekly video for my pre-algebra students. Uh, our homework that's due tomorrow on Valentine's Day. A uh, special shout out to first period, who I love teaching. I love teaching all of my periods. Uh, first period asked if I was giving anything special for Valentine's Day. So, um, I do love being your teacher. Um, and I'm going to give you no homework next week, so I hope that that counts. Um, it is a lot of fun to see you every day, so thank you. I went to the shoe box, and there were a couple of um, papers in there, so thank you. And the one that I pulled had to do with the lesson we did today. Um, and I'm pretty sure when people were leaving, they seemed to have a better understanding of this equation. And it really is fun when you think about things that we understand now that if we had looked at even two weeks ago probably would have just been ridiculously hard to understand. So we talked about this equation today. This is a different way to write an equation of a line where B is our y-intercept and M stands for our slope. So the question said to describe why the graph of y equals 2x is the same and different from the graph of y equals 2x minus 7 and explain or show our reasoning. So right off the bat, both lines have the same slope. And we know the slope is 2 because of the value in front of x. However, they are different because the first line goes through the origin, and I know that because when it says plus b, there's nothing. And when there's nothing, we have a beautiful number to represent that, and that nothing is zero. Whereas the second line is going to go through the point 0, negative 7, because of this 2x minus 7. We talked about that today, too. Is that a minus or a negative? Yes, they mean the same thing. Um, if I was going to sketch that, where here is my x-axis and my y-axis, they're both going to have a slope of 2, oops, 4, 5, 6, 7, but the second line is going to start here. And then I'm going to have going up 2 and over 1, up 2 and over, over 1. So sketching it, this is my y equals 2x minus 7 whereas my first line is going through the origin and is going to be parallel, so it's going to look more like this. Hopefully that helps a little bit. If you wanted to use graph paper, you could, but this gives me enough of an understanding that you see that they are parallel because they have the same slope, but they have different y-intercepts. Uh, great work this week. Next week we'll be looking at when the slope is not always positive. Right now we've currently just looked at positive slopes, um, but there are others that are out there. Thank you for all your hard work, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.